So I'd like to show that parentheses in Haskell are used really to enforce order of operations in expressions. So um, for instance, if I want to say 3 times 4 plus 5, I can use the parentheses to have 4 plus 5 get added um, before the multiplication. Um, and this is unlike usual programming languages where you would say something like, I'll use that minimum operator. You might say minimum of 3 and 4. That, that's not going to work in Haskell. Um, what we, we could wrap the parentheses around the whole expression, and that's fine. Um, for instance, with the successor, let's use that function again. If we want to say, what's the successor of the successor of 3? This is actually going to fail. And the reason it fails is that, um, th that the function evaluation binds very tightly. So when we see the successor function, it's going to grab this as its, uh, as its uh, um, argument. And this is a function rather than a number, so it can't take the successor of successor. So if we want to do something like that, we would use the parentheses again, the successor of the successor of 3. So it's just fine to liberally use parentheses to get things to evaluate the way you want them to.